So let us take uh, our discussion further of this reading by Dries and uh, Omar Tassin, uh, India and Uncertain Glory, right? So the question is that how India in early 90s, that is before reforms, faced the uh, two kinds of failures. One was the failure to tap the constructive role of market and another was the constructed role of state for growth and development. And what problems are being faced by the Indian economy in this respect? So before reforms, you know this that uh, there was the license Raj. Uh, so you have to take up for licenses for every kind of activity. You need a government permission for every kind of industrial activity to set up the plant, to close the plant, to expand everything. So it stifles the growth in some way. If market would have efficiently flourished, so that was the constructive role of market. So market could have uh, uh, fostered the initiative. It would have increased the business initiative. Logo ke paas initiative reheta ke wo nai business mein aa sakein. Unke paas initiative reheta ki efficiency promote hoti agar market ko free hand diya jata. Lekin aisa kuch nahi tha. Right? License raj tha. Bohot corruption tha. Or us license raj ki vajhe se there was uh, we were not able to tap the constructive role of market. To ye baat likhenge. Right? So, two failures. of economic governance. One, failure to tap the constructive role of market. Failure to tap the constructive role of market. Because if market would have, uh, in case of there would not have been any license Raj, then market itself would have promoted efficiency. Market would have itself promoted initiatives. Market would have itself coordinated various kinds of complex economic operations. But there was the license Raj and it has stifled the growth of the private sector, right? Because of license Raj. Because of license Raj. Hmm. Economic enterprise. was extremely difficult right and putting it at the mercy Bureaucrats. Perhaps 
spelled it right. R-E-A, yeah, bureaucrats. So it stifled the economic growth, it stifled the economic enterprise, and it increased the corruption. So, so these are the lines which you have to write from the reading. Powerfully stifling. Initiative nurturing corruption, nurturing corruption. And authors they say that Jahatak license Raj ke problem ki baat hai. तो रिफॉर्म्स ने इसको तो पार्टली सॉल्व करा ही था डेफिनेटली बिकॉज लाइसेंस राज थोड़ा खत्म हुआ जो मार्केट्स के ऊपर जो कंट्रोल थे वो थोड़े कम हुए जो मार्केट एंटरप्राइज था वो अब बढ़ना चालू हुआ तो रिफॉर्म्स का यहां तक तो बहुत यूज था डेफिनेटली सो This particular failure has partially remedied. in the fourth reform period, right? By abolishing arbitrary controls. By abolishing arbitrary controls. But the second thing is that uh, there was the failure uh, to harness the constructive role of state for the growth and development. That is also true, right? There was a lot of government intervention in the pre-reform period, authors say. Uh, I mean, maybe because uh, the government intervention was also like, no, you can't do this. No, you have to do this. Some kind of the restrictive government intervention was there. Right. But even after reform, the kind of the role which states should have played as far as the growth and development is concerned, mainly in the social infrastructure, that response, according to authors, is very sluggish. It should have been very, very proactive. It should have been uh, that uh, the social infrastructure in terms of education, in terms of health, it should have been very, very uh, proactive, but it was a very, very sluggish response. So there was a failure to, to harness the constructive role of state also, right? And we have not been able to make the public services accountable, right? So it should also, it should also have been the case. So failure. Harness Contru constructive role of state, right? For growth and development. 
for growth and right the the there was a sluggish response in terms of education in terms of health jo ki government ka hona chahiye tha post reform period mein lekin aisa nahi hui so there has been sluggish response to the urgency of improving underdeveloped social infrastructure right uh, and uh, making and of making accountable public services right so unhone kaha ke post reform pre reform period mein bhi aisa koi khas unka government ka role nahi tha jo ki hona chahiye tha post reforms mein bhi nahi raha so aapko in aapki population grow kar rahi hai in population growth ke sath inki demands badhengi सोशल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की डिमांड बढ़ेगी प्राइवेट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की डिमांड बढ़ेगी इन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर को कौन इनको पहुंचाएगा कौन है जो इस ग्रोइंग पॉपुलेशन को सोशल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर पहुंचा सकता है स्टेट पहुंचा सकते तो क्या ये स्टेट का रोल नहीं है कि इस बढ़ती हुई पॉपुलेशन को बेटर एजुकेशन बेटर हेल्थ बेटर रोड बेटर ट्रांसपोर्ट और बेटर कम्युनिकेशन प्रोवाइड करें इन सब चीजों को आप प्राइवेट सेक्टर पे नहीं छोड़ सकते दिस इज व्हाट दे आर ट्राइंग टू से सो उन्होंने कहा कि आप अगर ये देखना चाहते हैं कि इंडिया कहां तक पहुंचा है तो डेफिनेटली ग्रोथ तो हुई है 2003 के बाद तो बहुत ही अच्छी ग्रोथ हुई है लेकिन इस ग्रोथ के साथ साथ क्या डेवलपमेंट हुई है कि नहीं हुई है इस बात का अगर आकलन करते हैं तो हम ये पाते हैं कि इंडिया में बहुत सारे फेलियर्स भी हुए अंडर न्यूट्रिशन है अंडर नरिशमेंट है इन जनरल एंड चाइल्ड अंडर न्यूट्रिशन है इन पर्टिकुलर वो ये कहते हैं कि जो इंडिया है दैट इज ऑलमोस्ट द वर्स्ट परफॉर्मर इन दिस रिस्पेक्ट राइट दूसरा है जो प्रोविजन ऑफ पब्लिक हेल्थ केयर है वो बल्क ऑफ पॉपुलेशन को नहीं मिला है आप प्रॉपर हेल्थ नहीं देंगे आपकी अपनी पॉपुलेशन की प्रोडक्टिविटी कम होती है उसकी वजह से आपकी अपनी इनकम भी कम होती है तो ये आपका ही आपकी जिम्मेदारी है आप से मतलब स्टेट की जिम्मेदारी है राइट और दूसरी बात ये है कि एजुकेशन भी नहीं मिली है उन्होंने कहा इफेक्टिवली आई मीन नियरली हाफ ऑफ द वुमेन remaining effectively illiterate we are talking about i mean 2020s right around this time uh, this article was written somewhere in 2012 uh, 2013 right so 2010 2013 2014 2014 agar half of indian women they are remaining illiterate that cannot be the sign of progress badha hoga aapka gdp growth lekin kya humne in development ke issues pe kaam kara hai yeh baat hai तो आपको ये बताना है कि हाँ प्लस साइड यस जीडीपी ग्रोथ इज देयर बट ऑन द माइनस साइड न्यूट्रिशन देख लीजिए चाइल्ड माल न्यूट्रिशन देख लीजिए अंडर न्यूट्रिशन देख लीजिए आप इलिटरेसी देख लीजिए आप 
पब्लिक हेल्थ केयर देख लीजिए इन सब के सब ग्राउंड्स पे जो इंडिया में है इंडिया में डेवलपमेंट नहीं हुई तो ये कहते हैं जो टू प्रॉब्लम्स फेसिंग इंडियन इकोनॉमी इन दिस रिस्पेक्ट इज facing indian economy one right so pehle to aapko inequality ko kam karna padega there are sharp disparities between the people who have and the people who have not agar aap itni inequality rakhenge to bahut se logon ko jo basic human rights hain jo basic cheezein chahiye to to live the life with dignity wo bhi nahi mil payenge right आपको डेफिनेटली इकोनॉमिक एक्सपेंशन करना है आपको जीडीपी ग्रोथ रेट बढ़ाना है लेकिन आपको साथ ही साथ जो डिस्पैरिटीज हैं उनको भी कम करना है प्लीज राइट रिमूविंग the sharp disparities that divide the country into the privileged the privileged and the rest and at the same time you would also need that economic expansion is going on growth is there uh, and uh, bringing more accountability to the running of the economy right so particularly jo log economy ko run kar rahe hain public services mein or public sector mein hain उनकी एक्टिविटीज आई मीन उनकी एक्शन शुड बी अकाउंटेबल ट्रांसपेरेंट होना चाहिए पर्टिकुलरली इन द डिलीवरी ऑफ पब्लिक सर्विसेस and the operation of the public sector and the operation of the public sector right so this is the what i wanted to do in this class we'll take the discussion further tomorrow of this chali thank you beta